three, two, one. Hello in YouTube land. Armando here. After a much hated hurricane has hit my area. Now, um, I live near a town called uh, Corpus Christi, Texas. It's in South Texas. In fact, the president was here not too long ago. And then the vice president was here, what, yesterday, I think? Anyway. Uh, there's videos online that I, I was catching up, like on the Young Turks website, where uh, they're making a big deal about uh, how the president said, look at the crowds. Well, it, it's true. I, I was going to lunch uh, to my local Whataburger, and when I was trying to get there, it's right when the president went into the firehouse. So I'm driving on the access road, and the entire Interstate 37, I mean... Every, all four lanes of it <laughs> was trying to exit right there just to go to the firehouse to get a, a glimpse of the president. So, yeah, huge, massive crowds. I mean, I, I had to turn back to the Five Point Shopping Center just so I could go get some lunch. Um, I've been without power and water, and that sucks. So I had to go find water. Uh, I've been using candles for light. And uh, the power lines came down I, all over town here. Uh, lots of broken trees, lots of roofing shingles missing from homes, uh, a lot of roof damage, and uh, a lot of broken down power lines. So American Electric Power has been going all around trying to fix everything in 24-hour shifts. So they finally got my area turned back on. Anyway, also my uh, internet was off, but uh, thanks to Chris over at uh, Gecko Internet, he's been working day and night to get the get the whole grid back up, uh, and he he got he got it back on for me. So thank you, Chris, if you're watching this video, you're awesome. Thumbs up to you, buddy. Thumbs up to AEP. Uh, thumbs up to everybody that's helped me with the hurricane uh, relief efforts. Uh, Salvation Army, American Red Cross. Uh, there's a lot of need down here. Uh, and uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I mean, we're very lucky here. I mean, this old house that I live in, it withstood Hurricane Celia. And uh, every single major hurricane has withstood since then. It's an old farmhouse, but it's built like an upside-down Viking ship. All the roof is not plywood, it's like um, they're either two by sixes or two by eights all nailed together. So, yeah, very strong roof. I don't know if this video is going to freak out in a minute because Windows 10 always does something, <laughs> it looks like it wants to shut down. I don't know if it's recording. So, yeah, I, st I stayed here and I didn't go anywhere. I, I was going to leave town, but I decided not to. Uh, to save money. I, I did get invited by my cousins who live up in the Waco area, but I figured maybe the hurricane might go that way, and uh, I just didn't go. I didn't feel like driving up there. Besides, the, the roads were jam-packed, bumper to bumper, and uh, invitation came a little bit too late, like during the hurricane. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I didn't want to get on the road with 130 mile power winds. Hello. But thanks for the invitation, guys. Uh, I survived. I think I did better than most. Um, it builds character, these events like this. Anyway, the house is fine. I just didn't get a lot of shingles ripped off. But on my other home, uh, it did suffer some damage. So I'm going to have to uh, get that fixed. Maybe next week sometime. Anyway, uh, Star the new Star Wars merchandise is upon us. It was, uh, what, last night, I think, when they released it nationwide. Uh, I did find some stuff at my local Walmart. I did not, I, I, I can't see myself. Uh, okay, yeah, camera's back on. I did find this. Pack from Kid Connection that I've been wanting to get since I've seen it. 
It has, uh, let's see, let me show this. Let me put it upside down here on one side. It's so big. Uh, uh, let's see. You see that? Let me see. All right. You see the female there, diver? Let's do it this way. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll rotate the camera this way. Okay, look. There's a female diver. I think Chat Mai makes these. And there's a boat here. It reminds me of the Adventure People, because that's one of those Chat Mai boats they use for one of their for their Soldier series. And then you get the uh, like sea creatures, scuba gear. There's a cool looking articulated shark. But it, yeah, that female's cool. Look, look. Let's zoom in back on the female. Let's see how do I get there? Right about there. Yeah, uh, there was a. They used to have a place at a Toys R Us. It was like an underwater base for like I think forty dollars. She was in it, and every time I wanted to buy it, I didn't have enough money. Uh, but Walmart got these sets in with the boat, so you get a, a the girl and the dude, which is I think the same figures that were with that underwater base. Maybe she had a different color swimsuit. Um, and they never got any more in. I was kind of disappointed. I did want to get that underwater base. It, it was really awesome. It'd be good for G.I. Joe or Cobra or the like because they are three and three quarter inches. So uh, this was only fourteen ninety seven at my local Walmart. So look for it in the kid connection. All right, let's um, let's open it up. Let's see. We're going to need some uh, specialist equipment here. Look, folks. Yes, it's the box cutter of freedom. Yes, folks, it's the box cutter of freedom. Freeing toys since the beginning of this channel. All right. Uh, let's cut it here on the side. There's a piece of cello tape here. Okay. One snip there. It's opening up. I think this is a Chat My product. They do. They make pretty good stuff. And okay, it's coming out of the box. All right, we just knocked over Tony Stark. Uh, let me see. Oh yeah, I got the rock over here from uh, <laughs> GI Joe Retaliation. And let me see. All right, you see that? So I'm holding the camera sideways because the box is so big, it does not fit on my desk. See, the package is out of the box, but the toys aren't out of the package. They have security ties, so if I rotate it to the tripod... Uh, let me see. Security tie... Probably the crafters of freedom are needed here. To free these people. Oh, look, well, hold on. They got those screw things on the bottom. Yeah, they got a bolt, a plastic bolt thing. Okay, that's how you do it. See? Plastic bolt. Okay, that's pretty cool. Hold on. Let's undo the other guy. Okay, got that. I'll leave this coral thing, uh, the shark. There's two sharks. I'll get the gear down. I'll get the boat down. The gear looks cool. Okay. Now, hold on. Bear with me, folks. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. It's what kind of clip. I think it's holding the thing together. Oh no, let me snip. There's a security tie in the back here. Oh yeah, they're using security ties for it. Okay, and this is it's just it's just in there. Okay. Alright. Well we'll set that aside. We'll review that. We'll put that away later. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Uh, 
Check this out. Look. I've got a yellow boat. It looks just like the... I saw one at the Ross store. And it, it was a chat my boat. Let's see. But it was not in these colors. Look, you get the scuba diving gear. Flippers. Knives, flashlights. Uh, some of it looks like the gear from... Uh, Oh, let's take it off here. I used to have sprue cutters, but I don't know what I did with them. Back when I used to make model kits. Okay. You go, you get a flashlight. Yeah, from the Navy SEALs line. You know that Navy SEALs line they make? They'd be good in this one. All right, we got a camera. Okay. Uh... Binoculars. I can just snip that off. Uh, life jacket. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let's see. Okay, you get a scoop of tank. Can trim it in a minute. I like these flippers here. These are cool. Look. You know, the sad thing is, I, I think they both need flippers, and there's only one pair. From the looks of it. So, hold on. Yeah. Okay. We got that. We got um, some kind of flashlight here. All right. I'll show all the gear in a minute. We'll take it off the tree here. This is, uh, what is that, a knife? I could copy these if I had a 3D printer. I still haven't ordered one. It's going to be a while now. I've got a few setbacks. Maybe I'll call FEMA. Maybe they can help me fix the roof. I don't know. There's so many people that don't even have a home, but could use the help to fix the roof. Wouldn't mind that. Let's see what I do. Um, some kind of come along or something. Look, it's got a little hook there. See that? Let's trim that. Well, that way I can twist it off there. Let me get a little sprue tree here. Could melt this down, and make some regrind. All right, that's for the pile. Okay, so. On this tank here, I got a little bit of excess proof, so you always want to just kind of just trim that. Soft plastic, so that's pretty good. And uh, maybe right there. Yeah, he's just happy already. Let's see. All right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's move this stuff out of the way. All right, we got, um, let me see, the new female from Chat Mai that, uh, well, let's see. Can we pull it out without destroying it?
Well, loosen it up a little bit. Just trim it right there. All right, she's out. Could use that for something else. All right, he's out. See that? Um, look at that. Okay. Excess parts. Yeah, these had this uh, screw thing holding it to the cardboard. So yeah, that is Chap Mai. The boat had the big screws on it. Which makes me wonder if the bolt's seaworthy. I don't know. Might have to modify it to make it float. So yeah, this would be good for something. Make some anchors, paint them silver. Or something. Who knows. I'll come up with something later. Alright, now. Here's the dude. Uh, he screwed together one screw. No, he's got two screws in the back. Definitely chap mine. But look, he's got articulated ankles. He's got one hand up and one on the throttle. Pretty handsome face. Kind of looks like uh, one of those Jurassic Park guys. Maybe the sculptor sculpted it after himself. Maybe he looks like that. Okay, so he's right there. And then here's the chick. The female of the crew. She's blonde. I'm not sure if the one with the underwater base. Come on, focus, damn you, focus. I'm not sure if she was uh, blonde or not. Uh, looks like that one from. Uh, <laughs> what's that game? Uncharted. Drake's Uncharted Fortune. His blonde friend. Not, not. Uh, uh, the one that played Aaron from Farscape. Not her, the other one. Zoe? No, I don't know. Can't think of it. It's been a while since I played that game. Well, look, she's got articulation here. Basic articulation. She's a very nice looking sculpt. Pretty face. Too bad the camera's not picking it up. Look, it's too blurry. Hmm, let me see. How about if I use a comic book? Will that change anything? Uh, let's see. There you go. You see her now? See that? Very nice figure. She could join the G.I. Joe team. Cobra. Or they're the new adventure people. I used to love the adventure people when I was a kid. <laughs> That's what this reminded me of. Anyway, um, the boat has a bunch of holes here. I wonder if I if I put silicone in there, it'll float. Look, it's got a a weird number there. Hard to read. Let me take my glasses off. It says WM dash H twenty seventeen O four O five. So April the fifth, twenty seventeen is when it was manufactured, maybe? I don't know. Look. See how the look. <laughs> I'll put the screws back in, look. I don't feel the hole. Put some uh, flex seal on there. Well, there you go. I just fixed the bottom. Uh, not sure what goes on the... It's probably a machine gun right there. See the hole right there on the outboard motor? So you got rocket launchers here. So that's left over from the military thing. Theme. Here's the thing that's on my uh, 
hovercraft, but mine doesn't have electronics. This one does. Listen. And she can stand there. Uh, let's see. I guess he can sit down. Yeah, he can sit down in there. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Depth charges. Okay, that's uh, seagulls. Look, the tank fits on her. Interferes with her head a little. Uh, look, there's a mask we could put on her. I don't know if it'll fit, right? There you go. Crap. Where's my comic? Alright, let's see. See that? See the tank? Hold on. Slip it this way. See, they painted the front, but they didn't paint the back. So I guess you could continue painting it, because, look, it, it's black, but they didn't finish the back piece. So you could go over it with a marker or some paint. Do that later. But, yeah, the scoop of mask fits over her face. And uh, I'm not sure about the, the flippers. Look kind of hard on the feet. Probably ruined the feet. Now I'm going to put the flippers on. But yeah, I got, I got all this cool gear. Look. Life preserver. Binoculars. A thing to grab the shark out of the water. Uh, I don't know. This weird looking thing here. Fits in her hand though. Whatever that is. kind of fish scale or dynamite uh, I'm not sure the camera uh, let's see something like that look okay strong carrying all the gear Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's let's stand them let's stand them out here. We'll do a pose down. Maybe it'll fit his feet. Yeah, but it looks stupid. All right, you don't need him. We're just gonna hurt his feet. Binoculars on him, maybe. Yeah, I guess. Uh, knife. Maybe a flashlight. Okay. You know, it would have been perfect if they would have put articulated wrists on these guys. But. It's still pretty cool. The the girl really stands out. You know, she's worth it. I mean, this thing was only fourteen ninety seven, So. 
There you go. Thumbnail. <laughs> Listen. All right, folks, that's the shark exploration play set from Kid the Connection. Actually, Chap Mai working through a Walmart uh, deal to sell their toys at Walmart. But it is a good deal because she was sold with this underwater base that was previously available at Toys R Us. I don't know if they'll restock them. I hope they do. Wouldn't mind getting one of those because it's really cool. But this is from the the chat my army guys. The, the the navy seals would probably fit in here real good. So we got another boat for the seals. And probably a cannon fits back there. I'm not gonna try it. Uh well maybe I will later. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyway, uh this is Armando uh ending the video right here, I guess. Twenty six minutes in. I want to say uh, thank you for everybody that watches this channel. I hope everybody's okay. I hope you have a roof over your heads, electricity to power your air conditioners and your heaters, and your fans, running water, good food to eat, and someone to love. I hope everybody's happy. I hope you're doing okay. I'm wishing you the very best, sending you tons of positive love and energy, and I hope you're okay. And it's three in the morning so yeah I'm pretty tired <laughs> but uh, I need to get this video out so yeah uh, if you're at Walmart they might have this in stock go look for it in the kid connection section it's, it's worth it it's a, it's a good ship get it, it it's good for GI Joe's uh, the core uh, whatever those guys are from Toys R Us their army they kind of kind of suck they got some good gear but the figures are not very well but these are good figures, so. Anyway, uh, I also want to say uh, to all the victims of the hurricane, uh, I hope you're doing okay. I hope you get your lives back on order, especially everybody in Houston, Rockport. Uh, a lot of people have died and lost their lives, so it's pretty, pretty bad. But hopefully everything will get rebuilt. The power will come back on. The refineries will start making gasoline again. Maybe they'll open the port of Corpus Christi and get some more commerce in. Because every day that thing's down and, you know, they got, it's partially open. But I think the ships have to be like 40 feet, 43 feet or so to get through. Because there's a lot of ships that sunk and there's a sheen on the water. There's like oil or gasoline coming out of the sunken ship. So they need to get all of those out of there, clean it up, and then it'll reopen. And then they might have to dredge it because when hurricanes come in, it brings in a lot of salinity and uh, the bottom gets higher than you know usual so they might have to dredge the channel again in order to bring in the bigger heavier ships so yeah hopefully they'll get that going and the refineries will be up and um, the gas prices will come back down to normal because they're climbing every day might have to gas up in the morning but uh, I'm luckier than most, so I survived here. I'm still here, guys, and I'll keep making videos till the creator takes me away. But uh, the w videos I've shot so far, they should still be on YouTube. They're, they'll be on there till YouTube ends, unless they take my channel down and they'll be on some server somewhere. So anyway, guys, 29 minutes in. I hope you guys are doing the best. This is Armando signing out. Have a good one, and I'll see you on the next video. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Sage Forsaken. Hope you're doing okay, Sage. Shout out to B, Beatrix Weems, if you're watching this video. Shout out to Fidel Martinez in Odom, Texas. Shout out to my uncle, Jose, over in the Philippines. Oh, uh, shout out to my dad over in Hawaii and Oahu. And uh, everybody in the family that I forgot to mention because my brain is melting. So, shout out to everybody. All right, guys. This is Armando signing out. Have a good one.
See you later. Bye-bye.